Well, we do have news here today. We do. CM Punk is ready and willing to move to his next project. Dave Meltzer addressed the latest on Punk's AW status, noting the former world champion still under contract being paid by the promotion. Well, that is true. Punk heads of this weekend, Dave said, was still under contract AW being paid. Those close to him say the holdup on his being released is all on the AW side, as he is ready and willing to move to his next project. It said here that uh, following the November 23rd Dynamite, there was some speculation the Elite mocking Punk and referencing All Out in their match was teasing a future Punk versus Elite program. It was noted in the Observer, those close to the situation say there's, quote, no chance of that happening. I try to tell you guys that. No one listens to me. They wait for the Observer. According to a report from Sports Kita, Punk is still expected to be included in the AW Fight Forever video game. A release date for the game still has not been made public. It takes a long time to delete people out of those games. I remember when uh, when Vince was in charge, and they would they would uh, they would have that video game in the works. But if you left WWE, they didn't want you in the game. And so the people that made those games hated their job because as soon as someone got fired, they had to get them out of the game. As soon as someone got hired, they could do whatever. So uh, yeah. Punk Remember appears when to they, still be in the game. They sent uh, Big Show down to Ohio Valley to Fat Camp to lose weight, essentially, and they had to pull him out of one of the N64 games. Who was that? Somebody in the Twitch chat. Remind me of who replaced Big Show in No Mercy or WrestleMania 2000, whichever one it well, was. Well, they put another head on a large man's body? Well, they basically, whoever they subbed him in with, they kept his move set. So it's like, I think you had to use the move set, and I don't know, it wasn't S.A. Rios, but it was somebody that they ended up throwing in at the last minute. Mm. Well, we've also got this dynamite on Wednesday. Let's get this over with fast. 870,000 viewers, down 1.1% from the Thanksgiving Eve episode. Second lowest Wednesday night audience for the show since June 15, 0. 0.26, 18 to 49, down 20% oh, from last week. That's a mud. bad demo, bro. That's a bad demo. Mm. But, you know, in, tr- in, in terms of viewers, I actually still don't know where this charted. I have no idea. Because you see this uh, this Nielsen company. Golly, you think, you think, whatever you think is behind the times, Nielsen takes the cake. They have a holiday and they can't get nothing right. They can't get ratings out for days. Then they get these charts that are all messed up. I think the chart was all messed up. Like a bunch of shows got a 0.0, which I don't think is what those shows actually got. But anyway, uh, in terms of viewership, I mean, everyone, you know, you know, it is on the Internet. Raw does the biggest first to third hour drop in the 30 year history of the program. And it's like, nah, you know. And then, uh, you know, AW does. Not a great number, and it's like, man, they got to pack it in. It's done. <laughs> the viewership of the show was almost identical to the viewership of the show last week. Literally, almost absolutely, completely identical. The difference was Jericho and Ishii did better in the final quarter than the Young Bucks and Death Triangle. That's literally the difference in viewership was one main event did better than another main event. Now, of course, because the Death Triangle and the Bucks didn't do as well as Jericho and Ishii, well, yesterday was all about how they should be fired. Uh, they, they clearly, Tony bet on the wrong. Bros, it's a week. Can you guys calm down? Yeah, the demo's not good. And yeah, the show in general, the demo has been dropping for a long time now. But dude, you guys got nothing else to do on the holiday season? Go put up a tree. Put some decorations on the tree. Go online and find some some goofy decorations, maybe like a you know a well, ding dong that, or whatever. Look, if that's not your whatever thing, whatever you want to hang from your tree, go for go it. Out, go outside and plant a tree. That might be a, even a better option. Plant for a you. tree. You know what you can do is Please. donate to Whale Scout because the newest the newest auction is up on my Twitter right now. It's already over a thousand dollars. You know Ooh. what I discovered? What's that? If you plug the Brian and Vinny auction on the Brian and Vinny show, it does better than if you don't. <laughs> Glad you were able to come to that deduction. <laughs> so anyway, it's on my Twitter right now, <laughs> at Brian Alvarez. You can go up there and check it out and uh, and donate. You, you can write it off on your taxes. Yeah. And I know a lot of you want to write stuff off on your taxes. What could be better than writing yeah, off a chance but, to co-host the Brian and Brian, Vinny show? 
Look, will you just take the money? If somebody wants to come on and then talk about how AEW is in the mud for these demos and wants to yell at Craig about it, are you going to let them do that? Bro, listen, if you want to donate $5,000 and be a co-host on the Dynamite show and sit there and be stupid for an hour, that's fine. It's one show. You're not getting to be a permanent co-host. You're just some bloke coming on for the day. And I know that some of you saw Dragor and you thought, I cannot live up to that. Bro, you'll be fine if you want to do the show. There, we haven't had one guest host who didn't end up being fine. Because, uh, you know, you're not by yourself. We're all there. And the expectations are low. Yeah, of course. It's a Brian and Vinny show. <laughs> what do you think this is? Oprah? Oprah? Sure. Aren't you behind the times there? Well, I mean, just throwing out some show that, like, had expectations. Aye. There's no expectations on the Brian and Vinny show. <laughs> Cody Rhodes, according to Dave Meltzer, his recovery is going well. He's been working heavily with top-level trainers, put on size and strength, hit 240 pounds legit, which may have been the thickest he's been in his life. He's back to normal when it comes to his ability to train and lift. No word on when he'll be back, but it makes sense for it to be a surprise. Well, I did speculate number 30 in the Rumble is not, uh, is certainly not out of the question. Hmm. And uh, just like with Cena, I mean, even if he's not 100% ready, he can come back and throw some geek out, take some time off, you know, be on TV but not wrestle. Let and me then throw next this thing you know, you, he's ready. Here's the thing. With a lot of people knowing that Kevin or Kevin Owens, that Cody Rhodes is going to be coming back, do you want to maybe hold 30 for somebody else? And I'm not saying The Rock, but almost anybody else, even a comeback, I, Randy Orton, obviously he probably won't be ready in time. But do you save that? Because there are people that know, okay, Cody coming back is going to be imminent. Well, you know, I'd, uh, I'd have him come out at 29. That's what I'd do. Have everybody expecting he's going to be number 30, and then they think 29 is going to be, uh, I don't know, James Ellsworth making a big return. But it's actually Cody, and the place goes crazy. And he throws a bunch of geeks out, and then number 30 is James Ellsworth, and he gets quickly eliminated. Santino? Yeah, Santino or whoever. <laughs> Booker T. Somebody. While doing commentary, please. Somebody. Bring that back. Bring back one TNA thing just for one night. Booker T doing commentary on the Royal Rumble while he's in it. Granny, let's do the wrestling report. What do you got today? Put your laughing gear on. <laughs> My laughing gear. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, wrestle uh, load? <laughs> and Brian Hawks. <laughs> I, I don't. That's what Vinny got paid after his show. I don't. I don't know what wrestle load is. <laughs> oh wait a minute! It's wrestle Cade. Oh, oh well, that good. makes more sense. Where'd Brian go? <laughs> he's recuperating. He's he's broken. You broke him, Granny. <laughs> Sheesh! I've never. I have. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.